And there you go, there you go. Are you ready to be exposed with your girl Kateria, aka KC Exposed? We're here with Kush Groove. What's up? What's up? What's up? We got bro? Mikey, we got Ernest. Yes, What's going on? Man, Chilling, fun. cooling. Thanks for having us. <laughs> right, Thank you right. for coming. Appreciate I'm really, really happy y'all coming here, blessing us. So let's start off. What is Kush Groove? Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do Kush it? Kush Who's gonna do it? <laughs> Kush Groove's a brand. Kush Groove's a life a lifestyle. We represent the modern day hippies. Mm -hmm. Um, pretty much we represent the Yeah, we represent modern day hippies. Um like the inner stoner, like yeah. the young, dynamic, the new age stoner per se, you know, the new cannabis consumers. They're not old school uh, tie dye shirts with no with no uh, with, with uh, <laughs> socks and sandals on. Yeah, We're more like, like silk screen t shirts, new word. era fitted hats, and you know. I mean, y'all see it. Y'all see the wear. Yeah. Word, I mean, word. Ernest, what, 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 can I zip you? Can I? Oh, I got you. Right here? You got that? Yeah. Kush Groove. Yeah, we got so, the Mochi shirt. When was this established? When did y'all open y'all store? Um, we well, the, the store, store. Uh, opened up last September, uh, in September two thousand and fifteen. So, yes. but the brand itself started in uh, two thousand and eleven. A bunch of childhood friends from Cambridge. We just started the brand because we always had the entrepreneurial spirit. We always wanted to do something that represented our lifestyle, and we just felt that you know a cannabis brand was you know properly fitting for what it is that represented us at that moment in our lives and continues to represent us today. So the brand is basically based on, you know, brotherhood, you know, people much. that love entrepreneurship. I would say that's the that was the spark of it. That was that's what sparked us to do it, but I, the brand is more like togetherness, hippie yeah. love, you know, oh, sharing, caring, like, you know, I, out for one another. exactly. So, I mean, it all transpires within our brotherhood, but it's more than just us as brothers. It's a whole bunch of us. We represent a, a whole group of people throughout the city and all actually throughout parts of the world at this point. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, what, and how did you guys get to that point? I mean, hard work. <laughs> long nights, yes, long we definitely hours, did hard work. Hard work, no um, sleep. Yeah, just being, uh, you know, dedicated to our vision, you know, staying within our business plan, um, keep, keeping in mind that we are brothers first, we're all friends, and we had this vision to take this brand to the next level. So we just kept testing ourselves, um, reaching, creating goals, and doing our best to uh, to hit those goals. Yeah. But I'm um, always trying to, like, uh, reinvent ourselves and yeah. doing that with different product offerings, different events throughout the city. And I think what allowed us to succeed somewhat was differentiating ourselves um, from other brands or other clothing uh, brands, per se. And we were able to do that by developing new products and then hosting, like, you know, one-of-a-kind events throughout the city. So is that what makes you guys unique? Yeah, I, yeah, I've been staying out. If you, I, I don't know if you've been to our last New Year's Eve party. It was probably one of the greatest Yeah, parties. tell me one of these events. We want to know what's the I want to well, know about these events. Y'all don't want to know what these well, events I, are about. Well, what's, what makes our events stand out is... If you've been there, we all we offer tons of different type of treats. Um, we got all different type of little gifts that when you come in, it's also a great, at, like a great atmosphere. It's a great vibe. We usually go over the top. Like the New Year's Eve party, we had probably roughly like two hundred and fifty people there. Two hundred people. Two hundred. And it was an undisclosed location. Yeah, so people it, entrusted in us. When yeah, they to us come to party for their big celebration of the year. They entrusted in us. Didn't have no idea where they were going. They paid up front, wow. and I think we exceeded their expectations. How in did y'all build of that trust? I mean, it's just it's really hard to build trust. Well, throughout the years, we've done different events that people like attended, but people build the trust by coming through our store and actually building relationships with us. With we're Dope. young kids. We're not young kids. We're adults. Y'all young. Y'all young. Y'all young. Y'all young. We're grown men, but we're, we're grown men, young at young heart. But at we're young at heart, so when people come into our store, they vibe out with us compared to going to other places. There's probably persons are probably a lot of old, like a lot more older than they mm -hmm. are. So they connect with us, and they vibe with us, and they pretty much gain our trust, and we gain theirs, and it becomes more of a pretty much a community in a yeah. sense. Community. That so is that yeah. the ultimate goal for Kush Group? Yeah, I mean, we want to, We've. I think we've helped build the cannabis community and mm -hmm. being representatives in that community. And um, I think within events, it's easy to cultivate and bring people together. Mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't want to have a good time sure. and exactly. listen to great music? <laughs> Shout out to DJ Sticks and yes. Viper. DJ DJ Viper. They're always at the parties and, and Bruce, um, DJ Bruce Bowen, they always hold it down. So, like, with that combined with just good vibes and good people, you know what I mean? Like, we always kind of do these 
these underground parties, and it's not to say invite only thing, but we kind of know majority of the people who come, come so in. we know what the vibe is going to be like and then people just right. like to come together with other like-minded individuals you know just like people work hard and at the end of the day they just might want to partake in different activities yeah. and we just like to provide that platform for them and for, for them to be able to enjoy themselves throughout the city so when can we catch one of these events is this weekly monthly um, yearly? we do them from time to time i mean we've done them on large scales like the new year's party we've mm -hmm. done them um, in store events we actually have a sound society coming up with dj superstar yeah, february 12th, 12th at the shop. Sunday, oh, actually. February 12th. Yeah. Listen around, up. What is this going on? If yeah. you're a young producer in Boston, Cambridge, New England, we're having a sound society. This is actually a great event put together by DJ Superstar. She, wow. She's a uh, she's on the come up. She's from Cambridge. She's from Cambridge. Cambridge. Style, she's actually yeah. from Cambridge. This is a Cambridge affair for real. Oh, this young shoot, lady is I'm actually Cambridge from too. Cambridge. Yeah. <laughs> so and we support her and like she's and on the come up. And and listen, so. remember that name, DJ Superstar. DJ um, if you're Superstar. around, we're gonna have the events from twelve to six. Stop What's by fifteen thirty six Tremont Street, Boston. Other than that, we got nice. we're gonna do something for 420. Yeah, of I course. Mean, of I mean, of course, you gotta like, do something for 420. That's, that's Christmas for us, so that's <laughs> we have we have something planned for that. Was, as things come together, we're definitely. Is this definitely, the first uh, time that you guys are doing something for 420? <laughs> no. Or I mean, we've been doing things for 420 since yeah, high school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> before the brand, uh -huh. but, but yeah. now we can invite other people to partake. But um, last year we had an in-store event as well with um, NBS, is a group from Cambridge yeah. as well. Oh, nice. I mean, we're from Cambridge, so we like to keep NBS, it within the circle. Oh, wow. Natural born yeah. spitters. They're from coast. Yes. They're from the coast. So I think they were they did a surprise performance at the store. Marcus was there and um DJ Lean Martin. A couple yeah. of guys from Cambridge just come together. It's like we Dope. everyone just comes together organically. And it's mm -hmm. like, okay, the DJ shows up, the rapper shows up, you got the sound set. We got that the Kush group treats, so then naturally a party just happens sometimes at the shop, and it's, and it's that's it's wonderful because y'all be. providing a platform as well, like a community too, like Word. everyone that can come, network, be together, be a part of y'all movement, but also y'all are supporting their movement. No, for sure, because so that's great. So many people have supported us to this point. We wouldn't have got to where we're at without support. the support of our friends, our family, and just people that we meet along the way that are equally as talented and work equally as hard. And then together, I mean, good things always happen. And we set the platform for people to be themselves. Like, mm -hmm. when you come to our parties, like, your ego is left at the door. Like, we don't care who you are, what you do, whatever. When you come in, it's all, we're here for one reason, to have a good time, get home safe, and enjoy the Do Christmas again. moment. <laughs> I know, that's wonderful, because, I mean, obviously people like to feel that they can be in a place where there's no judgment. Definitely. Um, and, and I reiterate, no judgment, because that's no what people um, are fear of. You know, yeah. oh, I'm going to go to this place, and I might not, I might be judged for how I no. look like, what I do. I mean, you guys definitely provide. I mean, e even at the shop, it's a no judgment free right. zone. There's people who come in, and we have also I've learned not to judge people. I mean, there's people who come in like senior citizens who uh, you would think never partake in the culture, and they're all about it, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So in our in our, in our our environment, our shop, is like a, it's a judgment-free zone. We welcome everybody there. Mm -hmm. Everyone feels comfortable. You can say certain words in our places you can't couldn't say in yeah. certain other places. Yeah, yeah, so we try to make everyone feel welcome, try to make everyone feel at home, and tr provide the best services and products at the place at the same exact time. So Perfect. So... Uh, so, what are some obstacles? Because we know some obstacles oh, right here. What are some obstacles I don't think we have that really? Time. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Well, give me, give me one. Give me one obstacle just <clears throat> that y'all have overcome, or that it taught y'all something, or made the business grow. I mean, what's an obstacle? Because everybody biggest... got obstacles, and there's a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners that can learn from their neighbors, their friends, people that are I, around the city. I think um, one of the biggest obstacles, and it's something that we still fight to today, is like mm -hmm. fighting the perception that the general public have of people who are cannabis consumers. Yeah. And not only just us, but you know, any cannabis consumer, I mean, you've always had, the general public has this perception that we're delinquents, we're lazy, mm -hmm. we don't get work done, we just, you know, <laughs> smoke cannabis we and just do nothing. And so we just By eat. making <laughs> strides and, you know, starting a business in our home and then um, um, opening a retail storefront. And, I mean, we all went to college, things like that can show you that mm -hmm. we're this new age, you know, cannabis consumer that nice. is not lazy, we're not delinquents, and we actually just mm -hmm. like to have a good time. And instead of coming Coming home at night and drinking wine or beer, we like to you know roll something up or maybe do both. But I mean, <laughs> I love that. Be, That's you shouldn't so be judged for that. You know what I mean? No, you shouldn't be judged. We're not hurting at anybody. At the end of the day, 
Y'all got a business. Y'all yeah, work. Exactly. So. Y'all do what you got to do. And we pay taxes. We went to school. We do everything just like anybody else. So I think that's like one of the biggest obstacles is fighting that perception that, you know, the general public may have of people who, you know, consume. And I think we've done a good job of doing that so far. And it's just based slightly on our success. And then when people meet us, you know, and meet the average cool. cannabis we're, consumer. We're, and, we're, and if you know us, I'm sure you probably do if you're a viewer. Yeah. You already know what. Cause we're cool people, so it's just like I'm still learning. I'm still trying to be cool. <laughs> you still trying to be cool. I'm you lying? I'm, the, I'm like still trying. <laughs> yeah, why? Well, right, so we're like, like, I don't know. We're just humble. We're individuals. just regular individuals. That's nobody all. Nobody different. Like when people see, like, oh my god, cause nah, it's and it's, nah, yeah. it's not about being. Some, uh, like, other obstacles may be, like, I mean, just learning. I mean, just like anything else, yeah. we dove right into the business. Just Not the passion really. drove us, you know? So there's a lot of things that we, we didn't know. Um, like, thinking it's easy to just print up a bunch of shirts, they'll be gone tomorrow. It's not necessarily the case. Um, hosting certain events and think that they'll automatically be successful, it's not the case. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of footwork, uh, spreading the word, um, just being visible. Right. So I think a lot of, you know, a lot of times, I mean, people just think you're going to inst instant success. And we realized that early on that it takes a lot of work and you just got to chip away at things slowly but surely. And our, our motto is slow and steady. So yeah. it steady. often reminds yeah. us, you know, of where we're trying to get at the end of the day. But if we take one step at a time, stride by stride, we'll get there. And I think yeah. along the way, we were able to attack some of obstacles we're just having that mentality that we will do it damn that's some passion and it, that's all it takes people is just the passion the drive the focus Definitely. just to go so what's next for kush group what's going on sure. i mean i know you all mentioned that event um event february 12th 12 to 6 go people Pull up. Go. please come it's a good like, time i i know it's, it's gonna time. be crazy it's always a good time i mean um, we usually release a fall line in April as well for 420. I mean, uh, a fashion line in yeah. April. So we're working on that right now. Uh, like we said, we're working on the events. Um, we're also just working on developing new products. Um, we've always separated ourselves by doing more than just T-shirts. Like, we've created grinders. We have our own rolling papers, oh, rolling trays. Nice. We've created rolling trippy kits, things of that nature. So we want to break into, like, creating more products like vaporizers, some high-end glass, different things like that just because, I mean, we all have an interest in it as well. And we think we could develop new age products or things that are slightly different from what's on the marketplace mm -hmm. and and and, and um, take that on a little bit and present them to our, our following and our consumers. So nice. those are some of the exciting things we have lined up. So back to the design and the T-shirts. So yep. um, who designed? Who does these designs? They're uh, dope. It's a group effort, I'd say. Uh, we all come together as a team, and we all just brainstorm the ideas. But the, the graphics artists. and, the, and the, the the skills and the beauty of the design, the credit goes strictly to Rich. Rich he's Mitch. a local artist who's renowned throughout the States, but he's Instagram, based out of Boston. Dean 5. Dean 5. Uh, he's, he's, he's awesome. He's a, he's a friend of ours. He's very talented. His he does murals throughout the city. Wow. But he's done every single solitary Kush Groove design, from the logos to the T-shirts to Trust. every single Thing. He's, he's been very wall. helpful, How did you uh, guys... very insightful, and he's just awesome. There's no wow. other word to describe him, but he's awesome and talented. How did you guys find him? How did you guys collaborate? Um, it was just kind of like the store open and you were looking for people. It kind of just happened, I would so say, because um, he was a good friend of my cousin's. Mm -hmm. And they went to school together, and they grew up together. And my cousin, someone's uh, opinion I value highly. So yeah. <laughs> when I was presenting the idea to her, she was like, oh, I have the right person for you. Mm -hmm. And once we met, I mean, I saw his work before I met him, and I was, like, just blown away. And then I was honored to know that he was actually willing to work with me because, or with us, because we didn't have a reputation. We were just guys with an idea. And he had built that solid reputation. And for him to be willing to work with us was an honor. And to this day, it's still an honor to work with him. And he's, wow. he's awesome. Like, he's... <laughs> That's dope. So yeah. he has something. In, so does he does uh, do the store design as well? Yeah, he's yeah, done he even the mural store, in the, the store, mural. all the touch-ups with yeah, the paint. So and uh, over your scene, he does. He it. works on various uh, different platforms. You know, he do canvas. He does graffiti. Oh. He he does signage. Pixels. He does everything. He's an all-around artist. So when y'all feeling like I don't want to say down, I don't want to get emotional, but what's something that motivates you guys to just keep pushing? <laughs> I mean, I know you guys go through many stuff. I mean, just with the store, I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe a shipment, shipment not coming in or maybe something getting, like, I mean, I, up. I, I think I, what keeps us motivated is the dream. It's the right. dream. Yeah, because at the end of the day, there's always going to be obstacles. Yeah. We've gotten turned down for certain opportunities. I mean, 
you know, you sit on inventory at times. There's always going to be things, yeah. but, I mean, the overall thing is, like, we know what the end goal is, and we want to get there together, you know what I mean? So I think what motivates us is being friends and knowing that we're going to get to the same place together and enjoy the fruits of life together at some point. So I think that's wow. what truly and motivates that's all us. The, that's all. Yeah, no matter how long it takes, you know, so right. I think we're dedicated to that, and it shows on a day-to-day. Yeah, and you guys yeah. are patient. You guys know what you want. You guys With are turn- Turtles, we have to be patient. We have to buy like turtles. Ten days to get across the room. I know Mike would agree <laughs> with me as well. Is another thing that motivates us is we seen our mothers go, like, work hard. Like, um, mm-hmm. go to work yeah. in, the morning, in the morning and come home late at night. So pretty much, like, setting up our families as well. Yeah. And making sure they was, I think... We both come up from great parents. And all, like all of us grew all up in single family homes. Uh, yeah, and we all had yeah. great mothers. So I think, and I think that's one one thing that connected all of us is we all come together. From, and the values, you know, know like our family values. Great mothers and, and I think that right mm-hmm. there is one of the best motivation for me. I can't speak for anybody Definitely else. Definitely for me as well. I yeah. can't so, take that right. So how, how many are y'all? It's there's there's a bunch of us. I mean, there's a bunch. It's a crew. Right. I mean, because they come it, in the it, it, ex- it extends because even if you if you I mean we're a whole family. You know, like <laughs> if you bought a shirt, you're one of us. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's not like it's just who you see on TV. But I mean, some of the main people would be Marcus, Fran, me, E, Rich. The DJ sticks, Viper, this Migs. There's a whole group of us, yeah. and everyone a plays team. a role that's at, a, at some that's, point. I'm you know? so happy y'all were able to collaborate. Because nah, it definitely. seems like everyone is artistic in their own way, visually. Yep. And y'all were able to come together and build something and project that vision. Because that's very, very hard to do. So I just want to put up the call line because oh, I want to see if y'all oh, got I some questions for Chris <laughs> Drew. Yo, we prank calling us. <laughs> I used to prank call CCTV. So. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> no, we're well, well open. Hit that. Yeah, we're well, well open. Please call any question. Any questions? I mean, tell us. About a product. About. When is it open? Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Well, we're open every well, single day. Sunday, actually. Uh, oh, Monday through Sunday. What time? Monday through Sunday every day. We're open eight through the weekdays. And, and Sunday we open twelve to six. Yes. Twelve to six. I'm sorry. I mean, you yeah. can't miss, and you can go there. Uh, you can grab your shirt, your hat, All your pipe, of, your rollies. I mean, we got a ton of different flavor e juices. Um, yeah. We got oh, not, what flavors. is e juices? E juices is for people that's trying to quit cigarettes. Yep. Yeah, so you and can. And they want to get a. The diff- nicotine. Yeah, they want to get that sensation of blowing smoke instead of smoking cigarettes. They want to <laughs> pretty much get yeah, just flavors. There's a little bit of hint of nicotine in some bottles, and there's some, some that's just like for the flavor, but it's for those that want to quit the habit of smoking weed with, I mean, excuse me, smoking cigarettes. So, uh, <laughs> exactly. Why? 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 <laughs> yeah. But so, yeah. So, what, what y'all have for the year? I mean, I'm, I don't want to say anything, but I've been hearing maybe a possible another opening. That, mm. That's a Maybe. that's a possibility. That's, that's a possibility. A possibility. Yeah. I nah, I mean we we I mean like I said we have this big grand vision. You know what I mean? Like yeah, one step at a pushing. time. And since opening the first location, we kind of just you know got a feel for what it's really like, mm-hmm. and we realized we can handle the, the right. location right now, and mm-hmm. we see the opportunity to grow our brand. I mean, there's smoke shops everywhere. Mm-hmm. Let's be honest, but we just feel like ours is a boutique. There's not many smoke yeah. shops that give you the streetwear feel to it. So we're more of a yeah. streetwear smoke shop. There's not many places you can walk in and buy a pair of sneakers, a mm-hmm. hat, a blunt, a vape, and a hookah and leave. You know what right I mean? There. So we feel as though we That's can your present starter that pack. That's your weekend starter and, uh, pack, right? So we've been we've been scouting out some places. <laughs> Word. Definitely it's, been scouting it's out some places. Oh, it's and, true. And yeah. other locations in other states. So it's quite Yeah. Oh this, damn, it might not be the bean. So you that's the bean the bean is the bean. This is, home this, this is home it's a home. Term. It's a headquarters. Like, Kush Groove is global. We might open Kush Groove in India one day. Like you never know. Dubai. So like <laughs> stuff is it's like that's one thing that's great about Kush Groove. It could go anywhere. It's appealing to many cultures. Anywhere we're not, many places, we're not we're not stagnated. Know? We can't. Sure. We're not. Yeah, like we could go anywhere in the world. Anywhere. So as long as y'all hearts at is as long in, as you're in focused, Boston, right? Of course, Boston. Of course, <laughs> come on, it's Cambridge, Cambridge. At Cambridge, of course, as well. But um, yeah, it's like. So where can we find y'all? We find at Kush Groove shop. Com. Shop or oh at Kush That's Group. our Instagram. If you want to find us, you can log on to www.kushgroove.com. That's our store our brand lot of website. You could purchase anything from the store that's on the website. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram. The Kush Groove webs- um, the Kush Groove shop is at the Kush Groove shop. Um, but also come by the store. I know. What's the address? Oh, we're at uh, like, 
1536 Tremont Street. Go. Mission Hill. Close. Right across from Mission Church. Yes, Mission Hill. Remember, not the other side of Tremont, but <laughs> on the hill. Yeah, and it's close to everything. I mean, check it out. I know I've been there myself. Y'all seen the video. It's popping. They obviously do more than just sell their, their shirts and their, and, and their trays and their rolling paper and their glasses. I mean, they provide a spot where the community could come together, push, grow. I mean, that's really what they're about is growing and sticking with the community. That's what we got from today. I mean, I have the pleasure to have Kush Groove here today to shine that blessing. Thank you for having me. You know, this is amazing. And these are the people that you have to connect with with yourself. And this is people that literally live down the street. Like, I don't know where they live, but I'm pretty sure I live down the street but from them. And um, and I'm pretty sure the, the where you live, the, the store is down Come the street. Through, accessible. We're doing, we're doing Patriots specials. Shout Patriots out to the Patriots. Patriots. <laughs> yes, we are winning number one. <laughs> we just have to yeah. number five. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, <laughs> but thank you again. Once again, we want to say shout out to Are You Ready to Expose CCTV for having us. Um, Definitely. It was a pleasure. Um, shout out to Cambridge. Um, shout out to West Cambridge. <laughs> shout, out to, <laughs> shout out to the P. So, <laughs> we love all the Yeah, we love all Cambridge. Like, all Cambridge. Nah, all Massachusetts, right? Because you want everybody no, we love to come. East nah. Cambridge, Coast, Port, NC, West, Medford, Somerville. It's love everywhere. Love everywhere. Like, it's, that's Don't forget what, India. Yeah, India. India. We're everywhere. We got love everywhere. We got, you'll, one, one day you'll see somebody in... Tokyo with a cushion <laughs> shirt, I guarantee it. It might be me. And, and you will see that. It's not one day. It's you will see, you that. see that. And um you just you just hit the exposed TV with your girl Kateria, aka Casey Exposed, and you got Mikey and you got Ernest, okay? Not Ernest, <laughs> Ernest. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Check y'all. Patriots number one, what's up? You gotcha. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Thank you. 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 Thank you.